This is a reading of Terry Pratchett's Weird Sisters by Michael Peter Watson, adapted for the stage by Stephen Briggs. It is scene four, the castle. The sergeant is on the stage, at attention. The duke is also on the stage. At the rear of the stage, the fool sits. She did what? She gave me a cup of tea, sir. And what about your men? She gave them one too, sir. Sergeant. Sir? I mean, it is possible. I may have confused you. I meant to say, bring me a witch in chains if necessary. But perhaps what I really said was, go and have a cup of tea. Was this in fact the case? No, sir. I wonder why, then, you did not in fact do this thing that I asked. Sir? I expect she said some magic words, did she? I've heard about witches. I imagine she offered you visions of unearthly delight. Did she show you ugh, dark fascinations, forbidden raptures, the like of which mortal men should not even think of, and demonic secrets that took you to the depths of man's darkest desires? Are you all right, sir? What? Oh, perfectly, perfectly. Only you've gone all red. Don't change that subject, man. Admit it, she offered you hedonistic and licentious pleasures known only to those who dabble at the cardinal arts, didn't she? No, sir. She offered me a bun. A bun? Yes, sir. It had currants in it. And what did your men do about this? They had a bun too, sir. All except young Roger, who isn't allowed fruit, sir, on the count of his trouble. He had a biscuit, sir. You may go, Sergeant. Sir. He marches out. Fool! Marry us, sir. I'm already extremely married. Advise me, my fool. I faith in uncle, nor am I thine uncle. I'm sure I would have remembered. If you profess your next remark with an uncle, I faith, or marry, it will go hard with you. How do you feel about the privy? Privy I can live with. <laughs> so can you. But no capering. How long have you been a fool, boy? Privy, sire? The sire on the whole, I think not. Privy, sir, sir, all my life, sir. Seventeen years under the bladder, man and boy, and my father before him, and my uncle at the same time as him, and my granddad before him, and his. Your whole family have been fools. Family tradition, sir. You come from these parts, don't you? Mar yes, sir. So you would know about the native beliefs and so on. I suppose, sir. Prithee? Good. Tell me about the witches. The Duchess enters. But not now. Well, where are the witches? The Chamberlain would appear to be right, beloved. The witches seem to have the local people in thrall. The sergeant of the guard came back empty. Handed. Handed. You must have him executed to make an example to the others. A course of action, my dear, which would ultimately result in us ordering the last soldier to cut his own throat as an example to himself. By the way... There seem to be fewer servants around than usual. Housekeeping is under my control. I cannot abide slackness. What of these witches? Will you stand idly by and let trouble seed for the future? Will you let these witches defy you? What of the crown? No doubt it ended in the river. As a child, he was given to the witches. Do they perform human sacrifice? Apparently not, these witches. Apparently they seem to cast a spell on people. Well, obviously, not like a magic spell. They seem to be respected. They do medicine and so on. It might be difficult to move against them. I could come to believe that they cast a glam over you as well. In fact, you like it, don't you? The thought of the danger. I remember when we were married. All that business with the knotted rope. <laughs> Not at all. Then what will you do? Wait. Wait? Wait. 
and consider. Patience is a virtue. Lights out.